Hello everyone. So today's video has to do with travel actually. I'm working on a course now that has to do with living abroad and working abroad and how to find a way to uh, move abroad if you want to do so and continue with your life abroad to be able to live there for six months a year or however long it might be. So I'm going through it and I realize there are a couple things I do and I'm wondering if other people do the same thing. So when, when I'm online and when I'm uh, reserving a hotel room or a flight or a rental car or anything along those lines and usually it'll give you, there'll be a drop down menu and it'll give you a choice of, uh, you know, Mr., Miss, Mrs., Doctor, this, that, and the other. I usually click Doctor. I'm not a doctor at all. I'm not a practicing physician. I don't have a PhD or anything along those lines. But what I found is that usually when I click Doctor, if it's a hotel, well, they'll put me on a nicer floor without all the rowdy teenagers around there, usually a higher up floor or something like that. Again, maybe this is all in my head. Maybe it's just a placebo effect, but I kind of also just assume if they're looking to upgrade someone, who are they gonna upgrade? You know, there's the doctor or there's someone else and you don't know anything about them. You're like, okay, probably the doctor. Maybe there's no difference. Maybe it's all in my head but it's something that's easy to do and I do it. And maybe you find something like that unethical. I don't because it's not like, look, it's not like I'm saying I am a doctor, I'm a practicing physician or something like that. No one's gonna expect me to perform a tracheotomy on someone, you know, or emergency procedure on someone, uh, anything along those lines. Let's face it, you know, a, a putting doctor, DR in front of your name could mean that you just have a PhD a doctorate in linguistics or in uh, sociology or whatever it might be. Obviously, I'm not gonna pretend to be a practicing physician. That would be very unethical and possibly illegal. Maybe I'm also at that age where I'm getting closer to old fogey rather than rowdy, rowdy teenager. So I kind of appreciate it, you know, if I do get a floor that's more quiet and something like that. Along those lines, whenever I reserve a hotel room, I'll usually ask for a room that's far away from the elevator. Again, because it's more quiet and I'm like the lightest sleeper ever. Uh, if I can ask for a room that's higher up, although many times you have to pay extra for those or something, but I'll see what they can do to accommodate me. And I just have this feeling that if I put doctor, it makes me sound more respectable. And so that's what I do. So anyway, I wanted to see if uh, this is something you agree with, or maybe you disagree with, or if there's something else you do, you know, some other tips and tricks you've learned of the trade. Like another one I've heard is when you reserve a flight, they'll give you a choice of meals if you want a specific like vegetarian meal or this and the other. And, uh, and basically the advice is to pick one of those. It doesn't matter you pick vegetarian or kosher or whatever it might be, but the idea being, as long as you pick one of those, you'll get served first while the food's still hot and fresh or something rather than having to wait for everyone else to get served. I've never done this myself. Being hungry is not one of the things, one of my issues when I'm on a flight usually, so I'm fine being served the normal food. Uh, but I don't know, maybe you've tried it. Maybe it's something you like to do. So that's pretty much it. No uh, freelance stuff today. Well, I mean, but it has to do with freelancers who tend to travel and uh, presumably everyone here travels. If you did like it, please leave me a thumbs up because that way it's the best way for me to be able to see which videos are liked and which aren't, etc. You know, which videos work and which don't so I can know what uh, what I should be talking about more. And um, and. Please feel free to subscribe if you want more videos about freelancing, about the freelance lifestyle in general, and uh, I will talk to you next time in the next video. Thanks. Bye.